Higapu, what do you get when you mix blue and yellow? Green! Correct. So what do you think you will get when you mix dot shades with dwarf shades? Mm, medium size shades? No. Turns out you get all tall plants in one generation and some tall and some dwarf in the other. Mm. Sounds confusing, right? Don't worry, I'll explain. The most accepted theory of inheritance before Mendel's experiment with peace was that of blending, which is very similar to mixing of two colors. But this hypothesis was later discarded because it failed to prove the fact that why some people like me had dimples when none of their parents did. Turns out an organism collection of genes is more like a deck of cards than a pail of paint. Let's understand this better with the example of Kapu's family. Yay! This is Kapu's grandmother, Mrs. Kapu. She has the genotype Big Y, Big Y, which is a dominant trait. Gapu's grandfather, Mr. Gapu, has a recessive trait, which is a small y, small y. Mrs. Gapu has a yellow fur, and Gapu's grandfather has a blue fur. To predict what genotypes their offspring will have, we will use the Punnett square. This is a Punnett square. Here, we write the gametes each of his grandparent produced. As his grandmother produced a big y and another big y, and his grandfather produced a small y and another small y. We notice a fact that not both of them come together as a gamete, but rather they segregate into two. And this is what Mendel calls as a law of segregation. Now we cross them together and we get big y, small y, a big y, a small y, another big y and a small y, and then again a big y and a small y. Turns out all of Kapu's aunts and uncles and his father have the same genotype, and that is a big y and a small y and they all turned out to be yellow in colour and no traces of the blue colour. This is because the yellow trait was dominant and it, that is because it appeared even when there was a presence of the other trait, in this case the blue colour. And this is what Mendel called as the law of dominance. Gapu's father met Gapu's mother, who just like him had a similar genotype, a big Y and a small Y. Well, let's now predict Gapu's and his siblings genotype with Punnett square together. This time, because of the law of segregation, we have a big Y, small Y, a big Y, and a small Y. When we cross them together, we get the genotypes big Y, big Y, big Y, small Y, big Y, small Y, and small Y, small Y. What? One of Kapu's siblings has blue fur, just like his grandfather. Remember how it skipped over one generation? And this shows that truly, the inheritance is similar to shuffling of deck of cards. The work of Mendel was a breakthrough in the field of genetics. It equipped us with the tools to predict genetic diseases like Down syndrome and help us move a little closer towards eliminating them. So cool!